Hey everybody, it's your girl Cecilia Dre, and I'm back today with another video. As y'all can see from the side down below, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I get organized and stay organized during college, throughout the school year, with everything that I do. I know that you guys heard in my college don't or what not to bring in college, I told you guys to not bring a planner because it's not the best way to stay planned or it's not how I like to stay planned. So I want to show you guys how I use Google Calendar and how I get organized for the school year and still stay on top of everything and still have the ability to like be involved in everything but also get all my grades and get all the work done on time. So I'm gonna take you guys through that on Google Calendar and just show you guys what a normal semester would look like for me. I'm not gonna show you guys this semester because I know this year is just a little bit different with everything going on. So I'm gonna show you guys two of my older semesters. I'm gonna show you semester of me actually being in class and how that would look along with practices, everything else that I'm involved in, interviews, work. And I'm also going to show you guys a summer where I'm fully online and working just to show you guys the different types of organization and how I stay organized for both things. So I'm gonna take you guys over to the computer screen right now and just show you guys that from here. Okay y'all, so this is my Google Calendar that I had for January of this past semester. So everything, I'm sorry if it looks faded out, it's just faded because of course it's past. So I'm just going to take you guys through how I would usually do this, how everything looks, and how this helps me for staying organized while I'm in school. So you can see there are these bigger things that are for full days, and then there are these smaller dots for specific things that happen in the day. So of course the main thing that you want to have done is you want to go to your university calendar and see what are the big dates for the university calendar. For me, the only thing that I really cared about on the university calendar is when my money is due. Because if your money is not due, you're not in school. So, of course, I put when the money was due. Last semester, it was due on Thursday the 9th, January Thursday 9th. So, I put that my money is due on that day. I, I think I added my parents in that as well because that's something that I need to make sure that I'm on the same track as my parents, so just in case I forget, they know, just in case they forget, I know. It just keeps us both accountable of what's going on. And then I also put when school opens up back because I had to go back home for the break, of course. So just putting when the dorm opened back up on here was also good so that my parents know and I know, we know when I'm able to come back to school. And then some of the other big things I put on here, I always put my payday on here because I was working. So I like to make sure that I know when I'm getting paid. So I put my payday on here and I usually put this on every two weeks. So it's not something that to remember. It's every two weeks I know I'm getting paid and I get a notification. So I know when I'm getting paid, I know when there should be money in my account because if you don't get money in your account while you're working, you know who to direct the information to like, oh, I missed the paycheck for this week, what happened, that sort of thing. And then some of the other big dates that I put on here, of course I have payday again. I had my days weekend. Days weekend is when we have African-American students who got accepted into UGA. They We bring them on campus for a night. We show them how it is to be a student at UGA. So I had that on here because that's something that happens for two days. That's something that I need to have somebody either staying in my room or I'm a host for someone or I'm just helping with the weekend altogether. So I have those big days because I know about that ahead of time. I have when I'm coming back home so that I know my parents know this is when I want to be back home. So make sure that you pick me up. Um, what else did I put on here? Spring break is on here, of course. So when I have spring break, nothing else is on here for the most part. Daylight saving time is a really big thing that you need to know. I was home, of course, for spring break for this time, but if you are in school when daylight saving time does happen, it is very important to have this on here so that you know when to set your clock either forward or back, depending on whatever time of the year it is. So now going back. So the next thing that you want to do is as soon as you get your schedule together as soon as you know when you have classes so this may happen in the fall 
or you can do it over the winter break if you finally have the time to actually sit down and do this. But as soon as you know that you have certain classes at certain times, you want to put that information in here. So you can see on, let's come over here. What's a good week? Okay. So this week you can see I have my multi, I had my multicultural American literature class every Tuesday and Thursday. So I set it up to be weekly on Tuesday and Thursday. I put the time, I put where it is so that I can remember because um, I don't actually go and walk my classes. I know some people do, but I'm pretty good with directions. I just make sure that I look up how the class looks or how the building looks and where the building is located and I know it from then on but I still like to have the whole direction on here so I put that class was in Park Hall I put the room where that class is because I don't keep my schedule on me so my Google Calendar serves as my schedule everything is on here so I do not have to go outside to something else and I always give myself a one hour alarm and a 30 minute alarm because one hour lets me know you need to be starting to get dressed or you need to be starting to get ready to go and 30 minutes is it's time to head out because depending on where my class is I need to head out a little bit earlier so that I can get on a bus to get to where my class is so that's how I do it and I'll show you guys more in depth on here so you put your class on here you put when you have the class then in order to get the tuesday thursday or the monday wednesday friday however it is what you want to do is you want to click on this thing right here then from right here it won't say that you would want to press custom so i press custom and on here i selected tuesday thursday then i put that it ended on the last day of school right here and it repeats every week so then when you do that, then it would have weekly on Tuesday and Thursday until April 29th, and that's how it is. Then you can go back in for days when you're on break, like spring break, and you can just delete those calendar updates for that day. Then of course you add your notifications on here. I do not like getting email notifications, especially if it's something that happens very regularly because I don't need my email being cluttered with extra emails. I just do notification because it gets sent right to my phone. That works the best for me. And then when you're done, you just press save and then it would be all in here. That's what I also did for my interpersonal class. And then I'm going to show you guys how to do it for a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, just in case you want to get walked through that as well. Add a intro to public speaking class. So what you would do for this one is you just do the same thing. You'd press custom. You press on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but of course you want it to be blue. And then you put that it ends on April 29th. Whenever your classes are done, you repeat it every week. And that's how it would work for if you have a Monday, Wednesday, Friday class. So that's how I stayed on task. And that's how I stayed organized as far as classes go, because you know of that ahead of time. And I just like to put all that in my calendar. So I know from the jump when I have classes, when they're at, all the information if I didn't have this in my calendar I probably would have been late to a lot of classes because like I said this gives me notifications to my phone so it's very easy for me to stay on task for as of when I need to be places at what time so even if I'm even if I do get off task and I'm somewhere talking with some friends and I'm losing track of time I get that notification on my phone saying you have blah 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 in an hour or 30 minutes so I know it's time to wrap this conversation up it's time for me to start getting ready to go do other things now another thing that I tried to implement was some more self-care things during the spring semester because in the fall semester I was just a little bit too busy and I never took time for myself so you see on here where I put movie our student union puts on movies for us every weekend I'm not sure if they're doing it this semester but they did it in the other years so I put movies on here so I know this is the movie that I want to go to. I put what movie it is, where it's at, 30 minutes, one hour before, same whole shindig because I want to have that time for myself. I don't want to feel like I can't do it. So I put these movie times and I put those times for myself in there from the jump so I know you're at this time you are busy you're busy because you're taking time for yourself maybe not to other people that doesn't seem busy but for me I'm busy because I'm taking time for myself so it's in my calendar so I do not forget it now the next thing is I worked but I did not work one job I had two jobs 
So when it came to work, I also need to be very organized and show when I have work and what type of work it is and where it is, what time I need to be there, all of that. So when I get my schedule every week, this isn't something that I knew far in advance. I usually know when I'm working maybe two weeks before. So this is always something that I'm always putting in. I would add my work in here. So I had two jobs. You can see work with ref and then you see my regular work. So I worked as a official for intramural sports at our school. So you just want to have all that information on here. So the main things that you want to put on your calendar first are your classes, like I said before, because your classes are reoccurring, you know, that you know, when that's going to happen. And then if you have any self care things, you want to put that on your schedule. So nothing gets in the way of your self care. So you can have a good mental state while you're at school and then you want to put your work on there those are some of the many things that you would know ahead of time now after that like i said i was still involved in a lot of stuff so you can see that i have practices that started on this week so you can see i have i had a cribsa carnival dance practice cribsa's caribbean studio association i'm involved in that on campus so we had dance practice for carnival on Mondays. So I did that and you can see the customization. I knew we had a performance this semester. So I knew that we would always have carnival dance practice on Monday. So I did custom again. I put for it to repeat every week on Monday until March the 23rd because we would be done with practicing at that point. Same thing, 30 minutes, one hour. I knew where the location was, that's why I didn't really add it on there because it was the same thing all the time and it was anything that changed, I already knew where we practiced, all that sort of stuff, but you just put the timing on there. Now this is very important, why? Because if you look at this same exact day, I also had step practice with the Diva Dogs and I put where we have it, the same thing weekly until that certain day, 30 minutes, one hour. That's exactly why you need to have your calendar set up perfect, not perfectly, but you want to put everything in your calendar because right after my Caribsa practice from 6.30 to 8 o'clock, I needed to be across the street for step practice from 8.30 to 10.30. I only had 30 minutes, so I couldn't stay too late with them and I couldn't start too early with them sort of thing. And also, this was... And another reason why this is important as well is because the dining halls at UGA closed earlier on and since I was on a meal plan in this semester I needed to make sure that I ate before because at 1030 dining halls are not open anymore. We did have one dining hall that was open but I did not want to go too far out of my way because at when it gets late I just I try to get to where I need to be at. I don't try to like linger around and stuff. So those things are very important. So you can see I had carnival practice on that Monday. I did not practice on Tuesday for anything. On Wednesday, I have Crips a traditional practice and I had Crips a hip hop dance practice. So I put, I put both of these things on here. I had traditional practice from 6.30 to 8. Right after, I had hip hop practice from 8 to 9.30. So just back to back sort of things, but they're all on here so that I know when I'm doing things, what time things are supposed to start, when time, what time things are supposed to end. And then on this Thursday, you can see I had work from 4.30 to 7.45. I had a program that Cripsa was putting on from 6 to 7. And then I had an event that the student union puts on that started at 8 and it went to 12 in the morning. So now that we have practices done, so I had all my practices in here from the beginning. I know practices will always be happening on those Mondays and those Wednesdays every single week. Now the next thing that you want to put in your schedule is meetings. So. I was on the first year executive board for the Caribbean Student Association last semester. So all my meetings were on here. We met every single Sunday from five to six o'clock. So I put five to six o'clock where it's at and it's weekly on Sunday until the end of the semester. So every 
every Sunday I know I'm meeting from this time. So I know when I need to be back on campus or I know when I need to be up and out my room. So I'm there for meeting with the team. The next thing that I put on here was we also had some meetings on Wednesdays. I'm going to see if I can find one. Okay, so here's a busy day you guys can see was Wednesday, January the 29th. So on this day, I had a Caribs uh, general body meeting at 530. So that's on here. And I also had some other things on here on this day as well, which is why I truly suggest getting a Google Calendar. Because when you have a planner, when you put things in, especially if you write it in pen, I'm not, I don't really like writing in pencil all the time. I just like the, I just like how pen looks on paper compared to pencil. So when you write things in a planner and you put it in a specific area, there's no wiggle room. There's no place else where you can put it. There's no deleting things moving things around fixing things but when you have a google calendar everything fits in here i had this i had the admissions internship info meeting at five from five to six but i also want to go to this thing at 5 30 to 6 30. so putting it in here lets you know hey if you're going to this you need to start leaving for this at a certain time or if you're going to this you know that this ends at a different time so this allows you to add things in there as you get information because of course i knew about general body meetings before but i didn't know about this until later on so just adding that in there lets you be more flexible with your schedule then before that i also had a state of the university address that i went to with the dean of students on that day so i put that it was at our chapel um the time that it was at and i still did the 30 minutes one hour so i could have enough time to get there then even still after that general body meeting that i had that day i still had practice for caripsa and i still had another practice for caripsa so that's why i would really suggest getting organized with full calendar is there anything else so then there are special events that happen our student alumni association did a giveaway so i like because i pay as a member to be a part of the student so the student alumni association so whenever the student alumni association puts something on i make sure i put it on my calendar so i'm there i could support them or just post about it whatever it may be so i put that they had a giveaway where it was at what time it was at what it was going to be so i know and this isn't something that i definitely go to or not you see it happened from 10 to 3 o'clock i still had class at 11 and i still had another class at 12 but just putting that on there lets me know if you do want to go you have this block of time in your schedule to go same thing with they gave another giveaway on the next day and what they were doing what it was about all that sort of stuff there's anything extra this i had an or i had a video interview for orientation so i put that on there so that everything is all where it needs to be what else at a caribbean night modeling practice that started happening on sunday so i put that on there once again i had another work about a women's basketball game so this is why I really like to stay organized on Google Calendar for the school year. For the school year, everything is pretty the same, pretty much the same. I don't really put assignments or anything on here because I am in class. So there's no need for assignments to be on here. I'm in class. They tell me when things need to be due. So there is no definite need to have any assignments on here during the school year when I'm in class. If I were to do that, my days would be really long and it just would be way too much so that's how i stay organized for when i'm in person in class for a semester or whatever now i'm going to take you guys over to a summer semester so now summer works a little bit different for me because like I said, you need to be more on it. You need to be more aware of what you're doing when things are due because your teachers are not in your face. Your teachers are not telling you when things are due or they, they do tell you, but you also want to be on top of it yourself because you need to make sure you're getting work done because you're not going into a specific class. So for the summer, you gotta see my June what I did, I gave every class a certain color. I'm really big on color coding. 
I'm really big on that because it just makes things pop out in my eyes a little bit more and I give every I try to give every class a color that makes sense of what we're talking about so for finance I give it green money green that works good for me sort of thing for Spanish since even in high school I always gave Spanish a pink or a red color just because it's the most bright color it really uh, it brings my attention a little bit more so when i write for that class i write in pink and red so it can stick in my head a little bit more because it is a spanish class so that's why i did red for that um for communications nothing fancy so that's why i just did blue and i think i had another class life planning i did orange just because life i didn't want to do green because i did green so i did orange for that class so for this class what i did is i made blocks in my schedule to work for the class it wasn't a specific time as far as like how you usually have a specific time to be in class i gave myself three hour blocks during the day to focus on school work so that i was not just doing anything else during my day or whatever when i could be doing school work so you guys can see on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, because Spanish is a class where you need to spend more time on it to actually learn the language. I um, formulated it the same way how you guys saw it for the spring semester, but I did Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, and I did I made sure I was working on Spanish from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Now I'm not gonna say that I sat at the computer and worked on Spanish that entire time, but I'm telling myself that you need to be up at this specific time so that you can work from 10 to 1 o'clock. 10 to 1 o'clock is where I'm focusing on Spanish. I'm not focusing on any other work. I'm only focusing on Spanish for that specific time. Then I give myself a little break from 1 to 2 o'clock to eat lunch or just talk with my family, whatever it is, because I am at the house. Then I start work back up again from 2 to 5 o'clock. So I'm basically working a full day. And you guys will see how this blocking helped me on other days. So I was working for, I was working on my communications class from 2 to 5 o'clock on this day. So the same three hours sort of thing. After five o'clock, I try my best, even though th there were a lot of days where I was still working on work until the morning, but I tried my best to not work on work after five or eight o'clock just to give my mind a mental break from everything that was going on and just so I could see my family more because I don't like being in the house cooped up and not being able to actually see and talk with my family because I'm doing schoolwork. So I try to do this so that I'm making sure that I stay focused on the work so I had extra time to speak with my family after or whatever. Then the reason why I started so early on this day is because I didn't want to have too much craziness in my schedule as far as me waking up really early on one day and really late on another day. I saw when I had an 8 a.m. in my fall semester that, that did not work out well. It, In order for me to get used to waking up early, I had to wake up at that time every single day and build a routine for myself. So if I have work from 10 a.m. to whatever time on Tuesday, I need to make sure I'm up at this time. Then you can see later when I would get home or if I was home at that time, um, I would try to make sure I'm working on my personal finance class from 4 to 7 o'clock. So I have three hours for that. And then I take a, well, I didn't take a break just because I already ate lunch and I'm trying to like get through with the day so I can go to bed. I did my work on career and life planning from 7 to 10 and then after 10 I would make sure I went and ate dinner and you can see everything has its own color now I have you can see that there's still more on here besides work and the different classes that I have all these big things like this are assignments I made it I made it to where the assignments were a full day sort of thing so it's at the top of the schedule instead of at the bottom of the schedule because usually assignments are due at 11.59. Sometimes other classes will have a due earlier on in the day, but I needed all my assignments that were due on certain days to be at the beginning. So the way that I do this, I'll take you guys over here. So you guys see this is my syllabus for my Spanish class that I took over the summer. And you guys can see that certain things were due on certain days. I had a reply post discussion that was due on this day. I needed to do my initial post discussion on this day. I need to make sure that I read certain things on this day. Um, 
I needed to submit my recorded video conversation on this day. And then we had quizzes on these days. So what you want to do is you want to take your syllabus, whatever it may be, as soon as you get your syllabus, do not wait another day. As soon as you read through that syllabus the first time, as soon as it's fresh on your mind, you want to go over here and put everything in. So you guys can see, I have my, um, com my communication syllabus quiz was due at 11.59 on this day. Um, I had a quiz and discussion post both due on that Friday at that time. Um, then we can have my finance quiz is due on this day. What else? Um, I had a discussion post due for my life planning class. I had my registration that was also due on that day. Then you can start to see I had my recorded video conversations that were due on certain days. I had an oral presentation for Spanish on that day. Um, what else? I had my practice for my interview do or I had that sort of week to work on it and stuff like that now how you stay organized because like I said this is the summer you need more notifications on when things are due so let's like I usually did this for Spanish so for oral presentations you see I have a notification for one week before so I know me personally I do end up procrastinating sometimes especially if I do not know about something so I let myself know a week before you have something due you have something that needs to be done so I put a notification on for a week before so even if I don't get started on it I can start thinking about it in my head so when it's time for me to start it I already have an idea of what I want to do because I was thinking about it a week before then I have three days before three days before it means hey it's time to get something done it's time to make your PowerPoint if you haven't made it at this point it's time to start getting work done writing something down at this point so you're not waiting to the very last day to do something then I have, you see I had a paper due for my communication, no, for my finance class because it is green. So you see everything is still with its certain colors. This has a description. This is my final project. It needs to be a three to five page paper. The additional details are where it's at a week before again and three days before. So I put the description in here so I do not have to go back to the syllabus because I just want to make sure everything is in one area. If it was all in different areas, that would just be a lot to do. So on my calendar, it tells me, what is this paper? Ooh. <laughs> on my calendar, it tells me, what does this paper consist of? What needs to be due on this day specifically? I have my communications paper, so I would tell myself, you need to upload your final paper. It needs to be 10, 15 pages, just so that I can remember these things. Even if the teacher gave a notification or whatever about it on our learning platform, I still need to have these things running through my head so I don't have to go back to the syllabus. Yes, it is important to have your syllabus, but this is like my smaller syllabus within my phone that I can always get to at any time. So this is how I stayed organized during the school year. You can see I had a discussion post. I need to respond to two of my classmates' discussions by a certain time on that specific day. So I always had all this information in here. So I know what is due at what time. So this is basically how I stayed organized during the school year for a fall semester or for a spring semester being in person and for a summer semester being online. Okay, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit long, but I did want to give you guys all my tips and gems and all that on how I stay organized during the school year. So the main tip, just to go back over them, is for when you know when you have classes, get that information into your calendar as soon as possible. When you know you have work, get the information into your calendar as soon as possible. This makes sure that you don't miss something and that you're not late for something because you know from the jump, this is when I have classes, this is when I have work. So now I know this is all the extra time that I have to go to parties, to go to meetings, to have practices, to go out for lunch with your friends, to go to dinner, whatever it may be. 
So you wanna make sure you have that in your calendar. The plus for all of this is that when you have your phone, your tablet, your laptop, like you guys saw me, all that information is available at like the click of a finger or at the press of a button because you can have the Google Calendar app on your phone or you can connect it to whatever calendar you already have on your phone. That helps everything stay in motion with what you're doing. You get your notifications, your one hour, 30 minutes, whatever it may be like me. And then for your summer semesters or your semesters where you are online, you just wanna get all your assignments on your calendar. Having all your assignments on your calendar, make sure that you know hey, this assignment due on this specific day. Yeah, I know I need to attend my Zoom class at this time or I know I need to be working on my class at this time, but I do not miss an assignment because all my assignments are here. So that if you do have a teacher, I hope that you guys don't, but if you do end up having a teacher that isn't very active or isn't very vocal in their online classes, you still know when things are due. So those are my main tips for staying organized in school and that's how I stay organized in school as far as my calendar. If you guys wanna see how I stay organized as far as notes or just information for classes, let me know and I'll most definitely make a video about that because that's a whole nother way. They both of them come together, <laughs> but that's a whole nother way with how I stay organized during the school year. So once again, I hope that you guys have loved this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell for more content like this with just me in college, just more lifestyle content, anything like that. Also, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at I am sincerely Drew so you can see more of me, see more of everything I'm doing at school. Just stay more up to date on what I'm doing in a faster way on Instagram since so I'm always posting on there. And remember that I love you guys, and my name is Sincerely Drew, and I will see you in the new video. Bye.